Welcome back to Reader's Retreat. My name is Victoria. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be the beginning of my reading vlog for the Perfect Trilogy by Helena Duggan. It was very, very kindly gifted to me by Adrienne. So thank you very much, Adrienne. I really do appreciate it. And this video is by way of a thank you to you so I hope it gives you all that you're wanting to see and I will give you my thoughts periodically as I read through the series. Clearly the first one will be a place called Perfect and I'm really looking forward to diving into these. I've heard really really good things about it, recommendations from a fair few people on Booktube actually. Um, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to dive into these and I hope you enjoy watching this vlog. Hey everyone, first reading update for A Place Called Perfect and I am now on chapter 9 which is I think roughly about 20% through according to Goodreads. So it's really good so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Violet's a really good character, she's uh, cute, she's feisty and yeah it's really good although i am kind of finding myself a little bit suspicious of a few characters already which is really good actually i wasn't expecting to uh be quite so involved quite so quickly but yeah there's um somewhat fishy going on with a few characters something doesn't feel quite right so i will be very intrigued to find out how this carries on um and yeah it's a pretty pretty good start I think to this and it's only going to get better I feel so yeah it's great so far about 20% in and I'm really enjoying it so let's see what the next bit holds <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know how well you can see me because this is really bad lighting and it's currently early hours um, but I have just finished a place called Perfect can you see it? there it is <laughs> and I have sped through this in just over a day so like I say it's early hours now um, I can't speak too loudly because everybody else in the house is asleep so, um, but yeah, solid four stars, I reckon. Hasn't quite got, um, when it needs to be a five star, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. A lot spookier and a lot more, um, high stakes than I was expecting, to be honest with you. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So, um, I'm actually going to dive straight into... Um, the Trouble with Perfect now, which is um, book two. There it is. Got my bookmark ready. I'm waiting to go. <laughs> Going straight in there. There it is. So, yeah, I'm really excited to dive in to find out where we're going to pick up. Because um, it did end quite nicely for one story. I could see that 
it was quite capable of being a standalone but it's really nice that it isn't actually so um yeah a solid solid four star to start with which is great for this little series so i'm really enjoying it and i'm glad i decided to pick it up finally i know this video has been a long time coming but yeah i'm uh i'm really glad i decided to pick it up um despite the fact that i have got a tbr that i've only read one book off so far this month but um but yeah so um apologies for the very bad lighting but as i say it's currently early hours you can probably see all the curtains there that the sun's just starting to come up but um i haven't slept very well for the past couple of weeks so i'm not really surprised that it's early hours and i've been reading all night so <laughs> never mind but yeah so i'm gonna dive straight into the trouble of perfect for a couple of chapters and then try and get some sleep <laughs> so i'll update you when i'm a couple more chapters in <laughs> again so it's now even later than it was before i've just finished the first four chapters of the trouble of perfect and it's picking up a year later from the ending of a place called perfect which is really cool actually um the audiobook's read by a different narrator so i'm not sure how i'm gonna get on with that but it's really cute actually the way this is picked up and I don't know where yet this is going to go but there's already a little bit of a mystery going on and yeah it seems like it's going to be just as enjoyable as the first one so far so there is plenty still for it to uh, develop and we will see but yeah I'm now going to go to bed and see if I can actually get some sleep tonight. Um, sun's pretty much come up now, but it's um, another one of those nights where I just basically didn't sleep at all. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get my head down for at least a couple of hours before my parents wake up. So I'll say good night now. And I will update you when I've read a bit more of book two. Good night. Hello. So, I'm actually getting ready to go run some errands with my dad. It's later in the same day. And I haven't actually read any more yet. But I've realised that I've got 
a book and a bit through this vlog and barely vlogged so <laughs> i wanted to give you a little bit of an update before i head out i can't obviously take the physical book with me because i'll be doing different things what is going on now um but i will be taking my airpods and i will be listening to the audiobook so hopefully even though i've got a lot to do today i will still be getting through a decent chunk of the trouble with perfect so again i'm actually really looking forward to where this is going to go we're a year later characters already sound more mature because they are read by a different narrator um on the audiobook and actually the writing style seems to have stepped up a little bit i know i'm only four chapters in so that's so that could be completely way off the mark at the moment but yeah it seems like everything feels a little bit more mature so far um so it's just actually really nice to hear boy um talk about parents and family and mum and dad or mum and dad as they're putting it um so yeah it's really nice um don't worry that's as far as i'm gonna go spoiler wise <laughs> um i suppose the joy of not vlogging is that i can't spoil it for anybody because i'm not talking about it but hey ho um yeah i'm really happy with where this has gone so far um and i'm hoping it's gonna be a four star series but like i say i'm only four chapters into the second book at the moment so there's plenty of scope for it to develop um and i could be way off the mark but from the way the first one was written and the air if you like i'm getting from book two so far it feels like it's going to be a pretty solid series for me I'm, i am really enjoying it um so they do seem to be a little bit frightened of recapping on what's gone on in book one at the moment so maybe that's going to be a bit of a um development and um, them coming to terms with it really we'll see where that goes but anyway i really do need to finish getting ready and we need to go out so i'm gonna go but i'll update you when i actually have something substantial to say and i'm not just probably so i'll see you later hello so i'm back from my errands with my dad and i didn't get as far through um the trouble with perfect as i wanted to um but that's okay i can work with that because i've not actually set myself a time scale to read this series um so whatever happens happens and i'm struggling a little bit with this one if if i'm honest um i think really it's because the narrator's different on the audiobook and you know me by now I like to combine the audiobook with the physical read for a full-on experience but she's reading them all with different accents so it's kind of like I'm having to tell myself that it's still the same people all the way through um because they do feel very very different in the beginning it wasn't too bad because you didn't notice it too much but now they're all starting to talk to each other a lot more and everybody's got accents that they didn't have in the first audiobook and I don't actually know why the narrator would decide to do that. Clearly she's not listened to the first one herself um, because I think that would have changed her mind but I guess it's each to their own and I don't know it's just putting a dampener on things for me at the minute i mean i'm only eight chapters in um i only managed to read another four chapters um or listen to another four chapters should i say um maybe it will get better and maybe it will get easier to 
decipher if you like but i mean they're, they all sound different as different characters but they've got different accents and like you can tell that they're different people but you know you can tell the difference between violet and boy for example easily but it's something about it just don't feel right because she's decided to do something very very different with it um so i'm hoping that when i get to the third book it's not different again because this put a little bit of a dampener on things um i'm trying to focus more on the physical read now than i am the audiobook to be honest with you um just because it is so different um but i've shut the world out for another day um hence the very poor glary lighting sorry about that i'm gonna sell in with some more diamond painting and see how far i can get through before i go to bed gonna head to bed at a decent time tonight rather than like gone 5 a.m um and try and get some sleep because i am tired now so hopefully i will sleep um but yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of diamond painting as i say to uh try and get myself a bit further through this book and make up for lost time but um it's not bad so far but it's not a great reading experience um so we'll see how it goes um but yeah so that's my update and probably my last update for today like i say i do want to try and get some sleep tonight so i'm probably just gonna paint for a little bit and then go to bed um so you probably won't see me again today but i will update you when i have more to say and hopefully it'll be a little bit more positive not that this has been negative because i have enjoyed it but again this is just my view i mean you might have listened to these audiobooks and be thinking well, what's she talking about it's great but i don't know um in my opinion it doesn't really work but we'll see so i will update you when i've read some more see you soon hello so apologies for the poor lighting it's really dark outside because it's bucketing down and you're currently in my bathroom because there's less glare so because i use my phone for everything um yeah i've just about hit halfway in the trouble with perfect now um book two of three um if you hadn't already guessed um and yeah it's it's good i think the audiobook is impacting more this time than i should really let it to be honest with you because i don't feel like i'm enjoying it as much um if you didn't know i like to combine the audio and reading physically with as many books as i can it enhances my experience um and nine times out of ten it does but there is always that one percent that doesn't and i think for this particular book it's going to fall into that i'm afraid um this audiobook anyway the book itself the story itself is great i really enjoy the characters they make me laugh they've made me laugh more this time than they did in a place called perfect um they really are developing into some really lovely characters that you can really kind of get behind and really involve yourself with which is lovely um and it really is a pleasure to sort of hear the banter between violet and boy um because they they really are good friends now um that friendship is beautifully established now between the two of them and it's it's lovely um but yeah you've got a sense of comfort now from the two of them in both their friendship and where they are in their lives um so that's really nice and that stability kind of helps you through some of the darkest bits because this one is a little bit darker i'm feeling than the first one 
Um, but having said that, the pacing seems a lot slower. Um, like I say, I'm halfway through now and it doesn't feel like a lot's gone on. Um, I know obviously the pace will probably ramp up from now on to kind of tie off the ends of where this story is going to go and you know we've discovered different things up to this point that are sort of like okay where's that going to go so it's it is going to get quicker and you know more sort of fast paced from this point I guess but I was expecting a little bit more of a sort of oh okay I, I'm, I'm I'm eager to carry on I'm eager I want to I want to push through to find out but I'm just sort of like, okay, I'll find out when I find out instead. So it's it's not pushing me as much as a place called Perfect was. I was really eager to finish that. I finished it in a day. Um because I really enjoyed the pace of it. It it kept me intrigued the whole way through. Whereas this one, I am intrigued, but I'm sort of like, I can put it down for today and pick it up again tomorrow. Um you know, it's not I still want to continue with it, don't get me wrong, but I don't mind putting it down to then pick it up again. Um, so the pacing is obviously slower. Um, which I think for a series or a trilogy like this is, isn't bad. Because if they were all sort of fast paced and thinking, well, let's get through this, let's chuck this in here and let's chuck this in here so that it keeps everybody glued if you like then it would lose momentum for the last one and I think the last one needs to be good <laughs> really um for me in a trilogy it doesn't really matter what happens in the middle one um because the first and the last should be the ones that you remember in my opinion um and that's just Lord of the Rings, which is just brilliant. Um, but <laughs> for a middle grade trilogy, it is it is really good because you've got a beautiful continuation with the characters. You've got familiarity with the surroundings and the atmosphere and a new story. Um, and the mystery of what's unfolded. Which is which is nice. So, you know, you've got a little bit of uncertainty mixed in there with the things that you feel comfortable with. So you're like, is it gonna hurt these characters that I've got most involved with? What is this? There we go. Um or is it gonna help them? At the moment I can't decipher that point. I don't know if this is gonna end well or if it's going to end badly i mean the title of the third one is the battle for perfect so i can't imagine that this one's going to end particularly well um i'm getting the feeling it might end on a bit of a cliffhanger um because the battle for perfect i don't know it just sounds a bit more dramatic than the trouble with perfect really and i suppose for the final book it should um but yeah i'm i'm thinking this one might end on a bit of a cliffhanger to then push you through book 3 so who knows but i am ready for it to start tying things off um now because at the minute it feels like the strands of the story could go anywhere and the first one didn't feel like that it felt like it was on a very structured path like not that you could anticipate where it was going, but that you knew that it wasn't going to take long to get to where it was supposed to go. This one kind of feels like there could be another book before the end. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it could be stretched further. Because so far I'm halfway through and not a lot's happened. It's setting up for it to pick up the pace and... Like I say, I feel like it's going to leave me on a cliffhanger. So I think some of it will be t tied off and some of it won't. Um, so 
yeah, a bit of mixed feelings with this one, to be honest with you. And I think I'm going to leave the audiobook for times when I just can't take the book with me, rather than picking it up every time that I pick the book up. Um, so today I'm off out with my parents to see family, so I will take my earbuds and I will listen to it. The narrator's different to the previous one, if I hadn't already said so, I think I have. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping they haven't done the same again with the third one and kept it at least to one of the two that we've already heard. Um, but I don't know. So I haven't actually looked that far into it, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the story more than I am the audiobook. So I'm not going to use it unless I can't take the book with me where I'm going. I've been yabbing for nearly 10 minutes now, so <laughs> I need to get myself ready to go out. But um, but yeah, it's good. I'm interested to see where the ends are going to tie off with this one. Um, like I say, it feels like it's going to be a cliffhanger, this one. So that's intriguing more than anything. So let's see where the second half of the book goes. And I will update you when I've got a little bit more to say. See you later. Hello. So it's the next day from my last update. And I am now roughly around 80% through A Trouble With Perfect. So it's better, actually. I made the right decision in trying to read the rest of it um, physically rather than along with the audio. Because it's making more sense reading it of my own accord physically it was a good decision and it's really good it's not as good as a place called perfect i don't think um like i say the pacing's a little bit up and down um the kind of mystery element to it is a little bit drawn out in this one it's still enough to keep me wanting to read so i'm not in any way shape or form ready to dnf yeah i'm definitely going to complete the the series it's probably going to ramp up pretty much <laughs> intensely in um the third book with a title like the battle for perfect then you know it's gonna get hairy at some point so um yeah i think this one's just a a bit more of an easy read in the middle of the trilogy um, so in no way is detriment to the story because it's nice to be familiar with everything that's going on, um, to a point with, you know, characters and settings and atmosphere and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's a nice little continuation. Um, and I'll be interested to see how it ends. We'll see what happens. I am going to carry on reading today a little bit more, um, I have got things to do this afternoon, so I may have to pick up the audio again. Mostly, I will be physically reading, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can finish it today, because that would be really great. So, I will update you when I've got a little bit more to say, and hopefully, when I've finished The Trouble With Perfect. See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. So, that's it. I have finished The Trouble With Perfect and it was much better picking up the physical book rather than completing it with the audio. It ramped up a lot in the last half of the book um, and yeah, the mysteries were tied off to a point. Um, so we understand where the beginning was leading to um it wasn't as much of a cliffhanger as i was expecting um you could probably see where the third book is gonna go uh reading between the lines a little bit but yeah it was nicely tied off to finish the book um and i'll be intrigued to see where uh, the battle for perfect picks up um because that is obviously next on the agenda for this vlog um yeah this has come out at a solid four star same as 
a place called Perfect. And yeah, it seems pretty, pretty solid so far. I have really enjoyed it. Um, I'm kind of looking past my um, uncomfortable first half, really, with the narration. Um, I still haven't had a look at who narrates the third one yet, um, but hopefully it'll be one of the two that have already done it so that it at least has that continuation. It's taken a lot longer than I wanted it to to get through this one, um, but that's obviously because of the difficulties that I spoke about. Um, it didn't kind of hinder my enjoyment overall. Uh, like I say, I can look past it um and look at the story as a whole and it was good it was good it was nice to see that and feel that the characters have grown a little bit and matured a little bit more um and you got some new characters in there as well that you've not met before which was really nice so um yeah i'll be intrigued to see if we meet anybody new in the final book but yeah i've finished it it was good four stars same as the first one and i will be diving in pretty much straight away into the next one um it'll be straight away for you anyway because the next clip will be me starting it so <laughs> um whether it'll be straight away in real time i don't know yet because i don't know what plans are for today but um i will make a start on it at some point today hopefully um even if it's in bed tonight <laughs> who knows but um but yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Second book, tick. And on to the third. See you in a bit. Hello. So it is a little bit later than my previous update. Um, I'm just about to dive into The Battle for Perfect, which is book three in this trilogy. If I can finish this by tomorrow, then it will have taken me a week to read this trilogy, which is pretty good for me. I'm really... Uh, I'm really quite pleased with that um so yeah i'm really hoping that i can sorry the light there you go you can see the copy now um i'm really hoping that i can dive through this um it's pretty much the same length as the other two um so 300 odd pages so hopefully if I can get through a good chunk of this for the rest of today and then carry on tomorrow. Um, I am at work tomorrow, but hopefully, because I get an hour lunch break, I'll be able to shoot through some more and then finish it off tomorrow night. So if I can get at least halfway through this for the rest of today, then I stand in a good stead to finish it tomorrow. Um, and it will have taken me a week to read the trilogy so and to film this vlog which isn't bad at all for me um so not to read three books anyway so yeah i'm quite excited actually to see where this goes because i've just read the blurb and it's intriguing very intriguing so yeah i'm really happy um i've checked out the audiobook although it's not my preferred narrator um, I am a little bit more used to the way she does things, so hopefully she will keep at least the voices for the characters the same. I don't know yet if it's going to be anybody new, um, because the blurb doesn't give you any hints, but yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this, so I'm going to stop talking now and just do it. <laughs> See you in a bit.
Morning guys. So quick update. I'm in the car on my way to work. Um I did get halfway through yesterday as I'd hoped I would. So hopefully today I will get a decent chunk through the last half, if not finish it. Um as I say I am at work though, so it may be a little bit different, but we will see. Um but yeah, it's good so far. I'm liking how this one is ramping through pretty quickly. Um, plot wise as well it's uh, quite a fast paced plot this one So, but being the final book in the trilogy it's no surprise that they've tried to uh, pick up the pace a little bit with a bit more um, intrigue and a bit more danger if you like it's, um, it's really good I'm really enjoying it and this trilogy as a whole has been a really good experience so yeah I'm uh, really glad I decided to pick this up so thank you ever so much again to Adrienne for gifting these to me because I've had a great great time reading them and I am pretty sure this is going to be another solid four star read so it'll be four stars across the board for all three books so yeah a really great experience thank you very much Adrienne I really do appreciate it anyway I best go because we're almost at work so I will speak to you hopefully when i've finished hello so i've just got home from work and i have managed it i have finished the battle for perfect which means i have done what i wanted to do and finished the entire trilogy in a week which is brilliant i'm not going to give you my full views on it yet i'm going to leave that till tomorrow um just because it's been a really long day at work today and i could do with the rest so i'm gonna round off this vlog in the morning um, but just wanted to let you know that I did manage it. I have completed all three books in a week and I'm absolutely chuffed with that. And it came out at a four star. So that's all three books at four stars, which is brilliant. And they were a great, great read. I've really enjoyed each one of them in turn. Um, yeah, it's been really lovely getting to know Violet and Boy and the new characters in each of the books, which has been lovely. So yeah i've really enjoyed the experience of reading these and i'm really really glad i decided to do them one after the other so thank you again adrian for gifting them to me i really do appreciate it and i will see you in the morning with my round up of this vlog see you later hello my lovelies so it's time to round off this vlog so of course this was about a place called perfect the trouble with perfect and the battle for perfect so as you know by now watching this vlog i read them all in quick succession one two three and i really did enjoy it it was such a great great story and the characters are so lovely um violet and boy are just brilliant and to throw in a twist with tom as well it's just great um I don't think it's a spoiler by just giving you his name because his name is in the blurbs on the books. So, yeah, the twist with Tom, genius. Loved it. Um, it's the first that I've read from Helena Duggan and I think I'm definitely going to be 
looking her up with more to see what else she's written and see if I like it as much. Um, thank you so much again to Adrienne for gifting these to me. I really do appreciate it. It was the perfect, perfect thing to do to get me into a real good reading mood. Um, I've absolutely loved picking one up after the other and it's really shown me how much I adore reading um even more so than I thought of before so the atmosphere was just incredibly written um it was steeped in it added to the audiobooks as well I know I said I struggled a little bit with the trouble with perfect but that was just because it was a different narrator um but still the atmospheric language and all of that really did add to the story and there were parts where it was pretty spooky pretty spooky if you're in middle grade so yeah i really enjoyed that um writing wise i love it so easy so simple um nothing about it was boring nothing about it was challenging it was just the perfect kind of writing style for the story she was trying to tell so that's great. Plot wise, each book had its own little story, but you could see how each one followed on from the other. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. And it ended as a trilogy in a really nice way, not only to end off the little bit of a story that that book was telling, but to round off the whole thing as a trilogy it was really well done. So writing style gets a tick from me as well <laughs> logic and intrigue i'm gonna combine really um because it was perfectly logical perfectly feasible and quite steampunky um i'm not going to tell you any more than that because it'll give too much away but you'll understand what i mean by the steampunk vibes it's it's really cool um which kept you also intrigued to find out what was going to happen in the next couple of books so all the way through um so yeah that was great logic just basically didn't falter um although some of it was quite fantastical it didn't feel unfeasible um none of it felt like it wasn't possible um so yeah it was great that way and enjoyment as you can probably tell from this entire vlog because i've raved all the way through um all four books all three books rather got four stars so a solid four star rating for the entire trilogy which i'm absolutely chuffed about and yeah i'll definitely be looking up helena duggan again um to see what else she's written and can i just say again i love these covers they're just gorgeous so so pretty so pretty so pretty so yeah thank you ever so much again adrian for gifting these to me i really do appreciate it and i hope this vlog does justice to your lovely gift so thank you very much as always my socials will be down in the description box so come find me let's be friends let's chat and I hope if you've picked these up or plan to pick these up, you enjoy them as much as I do. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye for now.